And I'm going to just share with you gently my process into being a teacher for God and teaching the Course in Miracles. So I'm asking you to interact with me now for a while and just use your imagination. So I'm now going to draw infinity. And one of you is going to say, that's not possible. You're 100% right, but I'm going to draw it nevertheless. So imagine this as infinity. Imagine this is infinite. And let's call this God, for the one of a better word. Light. Let's call it beautiful light. And it just continually expands. That's all there is. In all directions. Beautiful, unconditionally loving, blissful light. And this entire blissful eternity is made of, if you took a microscope and you looked really closely, it's made up of tiny little particles. And every little particle, and let's draw a circle as one of the particles, is like every other particle. So the particle over here and the particle over there. The atoms are identical to one another. So, this particle does not know it's apart from that particle, and this entire infinite, loving, blissful everything is part of everything. There is no difference. There's no name. The Tao that can be named is no longer the Tao. The divine that can be named is no longer the divine. The truth that can be named is no longer the truth. Words of the symbols twice removed. This is infinite bliss. I'm now going to tell a story. Bear with me through the story. I try to put this into context. I try to explain something that Ken Wapnick refused to explain, that I felt compelled to explain, whether it be my ego needing to do this or not. I just felt the need to explain, and if ego's working here, then please forgive me. It's a wonderful exercise for you now. Let's, for example, just say that one little particle, this little fellow here, simply asked a question. Why not? Why not ask a question? Unconditional love. Unconditionally loving free will. Simply ask a question, what would it be like if it wasn't always bliss? What would it be like if it wasn't always unconditionally loving, light, bliss, <sighs> love. What would that be like? And you're all course students. What is the opposite of love? Fear. Fear. Teaches for God. There is no. Opposite. There is no opposite. Yeah, <laughs> God. <laughs> Teaches for God. There is no opposite to love. What is all encompassing has no opposite. So. If it asks the question and it wants to know what is the opposite of love, what would the answer be? Let's make it easier. Since this is light, what would be the opposite of light? Darkness. Perfect. Easier to explain. So, this little cell. Or, for want of a better word, this little sun dreams a dream of darkness. It dreams a dream of no, nothing. It dreams a dream of nothing. Because there is nothing which is opposite to love. 